Hi, I'm John Prost again, bringing you individuals from the community. John Escher uh, is an author, a writer, an author, an editor. <laughs> which which word do I use? Well, author, a, a writer, I, writer. I like, okay. But so, how did you get started in this whole field? And you've written three books now. Well, a fifth grade teacher praised a sentence that I wrote. Was I, I think she was having us retell the story of the fox and the grapes. And I said that the fox clamped his teeth on the grapes, and she said, good. And I was a writer. That, that, that was it. it. Yeah. Well, you've had a career where you have, uh, you've been a writer and an editor. You've been, been a lot of things over a lot of years. Had how, how many jobs have you had? 27. That's in proudly 27, yes. <laughs> so you, and the three books you've written now, they are on Amazon. Yes. Uh, and uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, uh, two of them are simply compilations from blogs or posts that I've written at various websites. Uh, one of them is a tennis book about inventing new tennis strokes, uh, which I believe in, particularly after the age of 50, because of the physiological things it does to your brain. And uh, one is about the Afghan war, and, uh, uh, which I really don't like very much. And uh, You don't like the war or you don't <laughs> like the book? <laughs> um, no, the, the war, I, I think, you know, here we are at the War Memorial, and, yes. and the War Memorial does some really wonderful things that are related to peacetime, like yes, interviews do. like this, of course. and programs and dance classes. Of we course. Uh, hope my friend and I have uh, taken tan dance lessons with John Perna, for instance, and it's they're just wonderful. wonderful yeah. There's so much going on the with mission, the war. The movement. mission of the war memorial is that, but yeah. the mission of the war memorial is to uh, is to recognize all men and women from the Gross Points who have served in the military, uh, right. and, and then uh, is and then along with that we have all of these programs. And we're also a 501c3 here, uh, which means we are fundraising too, and uh, that's right. something which is pretty important. But go on. Uh, now, your well, books on Amazon, can people get to them? I presume they can. Yes, they can. If they, if they go to the, uh, to the website, which I believe is up on the yes. screen, uh -huh. uh, they will immediately find the three covers of the three books. And if they then click on one of those covers, they go directly to Amazon. And then if they click again, uh, and Red Arrow appears a across the cover, mm -hmm. and if they click again, uh, they get a preview of the book, 10% of the book, and it costs them nothing. What, uh, no kidding. Yeah. What, uh, with the books, you have alluded to the fact that the one is about Afghanistan, right. uh, and the, um, they all have a different parameter. How, how does it happen that you did this, and how did you happen to write on those particular subjects? Well, I mean, I've done sports, so I was an oarsman at Brown, um, where I won the writing prize, too. And uh, the people who taught the writing classes were barely tolerant of my rowing, I think. But I did both. And then uh, uh, I was a reporter later in Middletown, Connecticut. and. Um, as I've gotten older, I'm 72, um, I've decided that a person really ought to be engaged and should care about current affairs. And there is that feeling about novels and fiction and short stories and poems that maybe they're off in some kind of r rarefied realm. I don't really think that's true. I think that there are great connections between all these fields. But anyway, I've done a lot of different things, had different jobs, different uh, interests, and sometimes they've been obsessive. And actually, my novel uh, goes into this. Uh, I mean, I have a tennis pro in the novel, an oarsman, uh, a horsewoman, and, and then a Hungarian lady who's um, probably done psychedelics a little too much. Well, you, we were talking to John Escher, an author, 
Yeah, that would be really the title we should give you. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> I get it. So the when you were talking about the fact that we should be uh, involved in current affairs and all of that, yes. uh, and we're sitting here in a, in a community that's highly educated, values highly education, yeah. and, and family, of course, and hard work. But so what do you mean by that? Uh, it, 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 are you talking about just simply keeping up with the news, or are you talking about something else? Uh, well... I think I'm influenced on this point by the author Gore Vidal, who inveighed against creative writing classes and English majors. I mean, he certainly is one himself. But um, he felt that young people who wanted to be writers should get more engaged. I mean, should take courses in economics and mm -hmm. politics. Mm -hmm and civics and learn about these things. I was woefully negligent in all those uh, areas until I became a reporter. And then, as you know, I mean, when you're a reporter, you're asking people questions about very mundane things. And you, you know, if you're going to succeed at it, mm -hmm. and being a reporter, you, you have to get into that Yeah, stuff. so essentially what you're saying, we're talking about John Escher, an author, that uh, you, you have to have significant or a number of life experiences before you could do some of these things like be an author. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I, I think so. But just to be a full human being, too, and to be, mm -hmm. to be alive and, and a part of America, I mean, you, you need to, to be concerned with what's going on. You can't just go off and I think, sequester yeah. yourself in a place like Eastport, Maine, the setting of my novel. Wow. Well, I think that, uh, we'll get that in a minute, but I think that the people out here are, are very much involved. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the idea that um, you uh, have to be involved, obviously, but the books, let's go back to books, the, the Afghanistan book, you lived there mm. uh, and you wrote this book. How and why did you happen to do that? Well, I was going around the world, and I was just there briefly for, I think, two or three months. The uh, war broke out between India and Pakistan, oh, yes. and a bunch of world travelers were, w we became landlocked in Kabul, yes. wow. and they were mostly Brits, and they all um, were there for a year, and they ended up trading partners, and it was very ingrown. It was a bit like Casablanca. It was pretty exciting, and I, I stayed there, and so I had some experience in shopping in the bazaar, and I think I, beg I realized even then, you know, how tribal the whole place yeah. was, how it I really isn't a country at all. It's a bunch of tribes, and, you know, and what we're doing there, uh, I mean, I don't know. I, mm -hmm. I really um, criticize, I wrote a blog yesterday, criticizing Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton mm -hmm. both, suggesting that they were uh, professional students and, and, and really attacking them for not understanding their Thucydides better. They went to good, co good colleges. They were great students. I have a friend who taught art history to Hillary Clinton and thought she was one of the most brilliant students sure. she ever had. Yeah. But why would they make such a historical mistake of going into Afghanistan when all these other countries, you know, in ancient history and more recently, went in every time the same result? Wow. Well, you're, you're, I, you're, I, I don't disagree. I, I don't disagree Not with you. Not many people do. You know, it's about sixty-eight percent that, uh, that, that are of Americans that, that oppose the Afghan I'm war. I'm sure that it is. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. that it is. Yeah. And most of us do not know uh, enough intellectually to really know why we're opposing it, except the feeling is they shouldn't be there. Well, mm -hmm. then you wrote a book about that uh, later. W w about what year was it that you had had this experience in Afghanistan? It was a long time ago. It was in. 64. In the 60s. Okay, well, yeah. things were changed then. Yeah. So, um, but even then, there were two huge embassies there, the I American see. and the Russian, yeah. both spewing out propaganda yeah. as fast as they could, and the, it was equal. It was well, we've got about three, mm -hmm. four minutes to go in this. Yeah. This is John Escher, the, <laughs> the uh, author, editor, 27 jobs, all that. 
Um, so what would you like anybody out here to know what you're doing or about your books or you? What, what, what is that? Well, uh, I'm an obscure writer. I'm not one of the lucky ones. I, I did win the prize at, for writing at Brown. Uh, there's a, a, an author, Francine Duplessis Gray, who won the writing, the writing award at Columbia University. She's always trumpeted that fact. And when she says it, she can get away with it because she's famous. When I say it, people laugh, and like Roger Angel at the New Yorker, he said, yeah, how can you say that? You know, you, you just can't. You know, the, and he's right. The, the, the work itself has to have legs. It really does. I worry about us writers who are so worried about the numbers. And I look every day to see how many books I've sold at Amazon. And I'm very pleased when, you know, there were 66 one day. I said, wow, that's pretty good. But Nothing like if uh, Farris Strauss and Giroux had accepted the, the book and they were kind of interested in it at one point, uh, you know, then they would be promoting it. No, I have to promote it. Now, am I a promoter? I don't know. I'm just deciding whether I can do it, you know. Well, you're obviously highly intelligent and you <laughs> well, have some thanks. idea. Well, you obviously are. There's no question about that. We've only got a couple minutes, but briefly, what, yeah. was, the, what was the finest or the, what, what job of the 27 jobs you had mm -hmm. in your lifetime, w w which stands out in your mind the most? What, what was the best job? Uh, crew coach. That's interesting. <laughs> At Brown. Uh, well, no, it was at uh, Skidmore College Skidmore. and uh, West Virginia University, actually. And I had about 100 people, and I was responsible for their lives because it was very cold in Saratoga Springs. And if they fell in the water, well, you know. Uh, Little problem. Hypothermia, sure. yeah. I'll be darned. That's what you recall as being your best experience in, in a business or in a fashion. Professional, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like darned. teaching, but it was say, more concrete. I mean, in, if I'm teaching English, which I've done, um, and I'm very enthusiastic, uh, my students are, have to say, oh, John really liked that book. I don't want them to think that. I want them to look at the book and read the book. But when you're doing something like coaching crew or tennis, yes. their hand is involved, their senses, yeah. their... Well, yeah. we're about to wrap. Yeah. And... The author, John uh, Escher, three books. You can go to the web to see them. Yes. Had a very interesting life. Nice you did this. We appreciate it. Well, thank you.